Much love to every subscriber tapping into our interviews. If you ain't tapping in, you tapping out. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell for post notification and hit all. Enjoy the clip, everyone. I don't think I've ever heard you speak on when you actually started rapping and how and how that started for you. Like, wh what made you say, yo, let me start writing some music, you know? Um, how did that start? My cousin. My Your cousin. cousin and, yeah, and yeah, the niggas he was hanging with and shit, like his mm -hmm. little group, you feel me? They was rapping, you feel me, type shit. Mm -hmm. They had their little music group and shit. MPG, fucking Street Law Gangsters and shit, you feel mm -hmm. me? They had their shit, HBB, like niggas that... For me, that's in tune to what was going on at that time. They know what I'm talking about. But they was making music, and I used to, you feel me? I used to look up to my, I still do, you feel me? Yeah. Look up to my cousin, so I used to want to be around them. I used to want to, you feel me, be there type shit. And I knew, like, all right, they was doing music. And I already, like I said, I already had some type of, you know, a little bit of drip with the rap and shit. So when I got old enough, like, not even old enough, when I just started, like, getting involved, like, on my own, like, yeah. my niggas type shit, and, like, in my hood, and my yeah. cousin lived up the hill, you feel me, type shit, so, when I started getting involved with my niggas, he started seeing, like, oh, nah, I right. he, you feel me, little cuz active type shit, I, he yeah. started pulling me up, or whatever, and when I pulled up around them, they was older, so they, they heard me rap, they like, nah, hell no, you nice, nigga, okay? like, you feel me, like, you better than us, I'm like, nah, shit was crazy, but. Definitely around those times, you feel me? It was definitely around those vibes. I'm like, nah, I'm about to start writing. Gotcha. gotcha. I wasn't drill rapping, though. Yeah? Um, we, we, we was doing, like, more and more just the, the hip-hop, gangster rap, melodic, what, what was it? It was more like a melodic. It was mixed. I had a yeah. Of, well, I was rapping about females. It was just imagination shit. Like, I'm yeah. not imagining Bugatti, so type of shit. <laughs> it was fire shit, though. Like, yeah. you know, young shit, but it was fire. It was fire, you know, like, word. It wasn't, I can't lie. It wasn't, like... I wasn't really rapping on some crazy drill shit. Yeah. But I, I speak some regular life shit, like, you feel me? Like, what I'm going through. Mm -hmm. There might be some violence in there, but it wasn't, like, ain't have none of the drill shit. Okay. Bet. And and at that point, are you even planning on taking it serious, or it's kind of just a hobby at the time? A hobby. Hmm. So I just started taking it serious a few years, like. Yeah. Like four, four years, three, four years. Yeah, you know, and, and that's what I was going to ask, you know, because I seen... Even through all those songs that was doing numbers from Bag to Go Town, No Twirl Zone, it's Big Ops, bag, bag, were like all those songs, you feel me? Hundreds of thousands of views. I still seen you say you wasn't you wasn't taking it serious. Why not? Um, I say that because I ain't have a manager. <laughs> like, I was doing mm. that shit by myself. Okay. All that. Like, I was doing shows, getting booked, all that shit. But I had, I had people that was around me, some people that was around me that wasn't situations that was around other people so they you know it was kind of like i was i was going as like i was learning as i go okay so you said by the day and i felt like i definitely felt like i was i was ahead of my time type shit like yeah, yeah. ahead of my time yeah i hear you say that a lot yeah, yeah i was yeah. ahead of my time you know I mean type shit like, i came through on some raw shit well uh, you know you 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 saying that you know um kind of learning as you go what are some of the things you felt like you felt like you learned going um you know just being the first person probably in your family to get this far you know Hell like yeah. i'm sure i'm sure there's so many mistakes you made yeah. good things you made what are some of them um as far as the mistakes or like, yeah it was some of the mistakes and things that you learned positively um i mean i learned the business out of this shit like a lot, yeah. a lot you feel me type shit that was one of the main things i was really interested in to learn because i always knew like i the music is only fucking 80% type shit. Not even 80%, like 20% type Word, shit. Probably, yeah. You know I mean? So, I always wanted to learn the, um, the music shit. I also, I wasn't like, I stopped going to the studio a lot at that time. You know what I mean? Type shit. Because I was more so just living off of my clout. Like, what was going on. Gotcha. You know what I, mean? I was getting shows, booked for shows. You know what I mean? I ain't staying hungry. But, I had music. Like, I had songs. They was in my emails. But, I, I wasn't releasing the songs. None of that. You know what I mean? Type yeah. shit. I wasn't going to make new songs. I wasn't going to make a Big Ops Part 3 shit like that. Like, I was, for me, I was chilling. I was Gucci. But, I thought I was Gucci. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. Um, well, what else? Um, As far as, like, what else? I mean, you know, just more so showing love. I show love to a lot of people. You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. a lot of people at that time. Type shit. Yeah. Or, and I stay humble. Like, I always stay humble, like, through, through the whole shit. Like, God, I never true. act differently or act like... And at that time, I was bussing, bussing. I'm talking about 
crazy, like Boston, Boston, bro. Mm-hmm. And I show love type shit. And I feel like, I feel like, you know, a lot of people benefited off of me type shit. You feel mm-hmm. me? And I ain't benefit off them, but I was I don't even care about that shit. But I'm just saying, I just learned shit as I go, like, type shit. Like, yo, yeah. I can't even be mad at that. Like, I ain't even, we ain't gonna beef about that. Like, it is what it is, you feel me, type I shit. I feel bro. you. Well, I learned a lot of shit with this shit, though, bro. Like, this shit is definitely a, 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 a fucking devious game. Yeah. Yeah, you know, even the obstacles. When you say it's a devious game, like, do you, did you? Cause I, I found like doing these, these, the, even I just do interviews, but I find that there's a lot of, I don't know, there's just a lot. Everybody's just for themselves, man. Right, right. From what I've seen, yeah, is that something you learned? Yep. I really mm. Definitely learned that. Niggas yeah. definitely for themselves out here. Well, Some niggas, well, most niggas. Yeah, exactly. Most, especially here, like in this fucking <clears throat> shit. <laughs> yeah, got you. You know, did I know? Um, you spoke on. I, I hear a lot of rappers speak on that sometimes, where it's like <laughs> every time they got locked up, they kind of see the views decrease a little bit. Is that something you seen? Yeah, I yeah. Have it. Yeah. <coughs> have it. Definitely, I seen that. I got locked up right, right. I won't say when this shit got lit, but like I got locked up around that time for a gun charge. You know what I mean? Mm. So that shit was crazy. Like, and then it's like, like I said. Like, I really, like, was living this shit, like, type shit. So yeah. it's like, it wasn't none of that. I'm rapping this shit, showing you this, and then I'm going to hide somewhere, type shit. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm here, so the police already know who niggas is from, like I said, from childhood shit. So they like, oh, these niggas is, oh, you lit? Like, yeah. this, this nigga is, what? They it's him that they, you feel me? Yeah. So they was, like, watching, watching, all oh, type shit, you feel me? I slipped up. Yeah. Word, but my little son and all that, feel me, my little man and shit, he, he took the charge. Well, he didn't take the charge because he got locked up more so in possession, but he went to jail in that situation. He went upstate, but we all went to jail. He went upstate in that situation, but I had a case, though, and they was on me. They was, He was taking the charge, and they still was sending my eyes to court, like, trying to make wow. fucking three people take time for, for, for feel me, for homie situation. Like, that wow. shit was crazy. But they wanted me though, like they was like letting it be known, like they yeah. had to send the news and all that, the news all that. Like, for people who who are doing music but they have situations in the streets, like, how do you prevent, like, like, cause I feel like you, it's it's enemies on both sides, right? Uh-huh. You got the law enforcement, but you also got situations in the streets, but you're trying to be successful. What's the best way of doing that when it's coming from both angles? Pause. <laughs> you gotta be good at what you do. Like, bro, son, you just gotta be good at this shit. You gotta know, like, you gotta know how to move. Like, you gotta know how to motherfucking shit sacrifices too. You feel yeah. me? Type shit. You gotta know how to, nigga. Just I'm moving dolly. You feel me? Type shit. Shit spicy. I'm moving by myself. Or, mm-hmm. You feel me? I'ma move like this now. I was moving like that. I'm moving like this. Type shit. But, um. I feel like shit can happen to anybody. Like it can happen yeah. to anybody. Type shit. But more so, like you could, you could stop it from happening. You feel me? You could prevent it. Type shit. Yeah. Would know how you move. You ever consider like in the in that time when you was going through that? Did you ever consider moving? Like literally, like yeah, yo, I'm to, out of here. I moved to the next building. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like leave Brooklyn. I'm like lie to you. it's real shit. I ain't capping at all. I ain't gonna lie to you. But why the like? What was the this. What made you move to the next building, I mean, and why did you feel like it was going to be different? I mean, it, it was different. Like, I ain't gonna in a you. good way? I mean, yeah, hell yeah. Oh, wow. Like, the same shit, you feel me? Like, yeah. Shit got, you feel me? You know, that's only but, but for, for so long. Yeah, type yeah. Shit. But more so, like, I had, like, don't get me wrong. Like, I was, like, I was in Cali for a minute. Like, I went to Cali. I was in Cali for, for me for a little while. I was moving around type shit, but more so. I ain't signed a deal, like I said, you feel me? I was more so, I'm still independent, so yeah. I was doing this shit independent. I had label talks and, for me, offers and shit. Yeah, you know? I but see, I seen that, yeah. I had, yeah. But I'm I'm still independent, so I'm still in love with this shit a little bit. Yeah. yeah. And that's kind of like ignorant, you know, people would be like, I was ignorant, but, you know what I mean?